Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial. My name is Brad Maver and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a very cool electric looking flash button. This button is going to be created in After Effects and then we're going to finish it up with Adobe Flash. So I'm going to give you a preview of what it's going to look like when it's finished. As you see, when I hover the mouse over top of the button, it creates almost like an electric current going through the button. It's a pretty cool effect, and it's actually really easy to achieve. Okay, so go ahead and open up After Effects. <clears throat> go to File, Import. Now import the image that you want to turn into the movie clip. The movie clip button, sorry. Okay, now click it and drag it onto the composition section. And this is what this is going to do is create a new composition with the same size attributes as your image, which is what we want. Okay, now because this is a movie clip button, it doesn't need a big animation and we don't want a big file transfer. So we just want about one second worth of animation, which will render roughly 24 frames in flash. Okay. So now for the lightning effect, click the button and go to <clears throat> effect, obsolete, and then lightning. It's gonna, what it's going to do is put a bolt of lightning onto your page. Now, you don't have to put, you can arrange the, uh, the lightning however you want it, but I want it from one end to the other, almost as if it's going through the word. You can do whatever your heart desires. Okay, now I'm not going to change any of these settings. I'm just going to change actually just the color to a blue off media. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and preview the animation. And that is the exact effect that we want when the uh, mouse is hovered over the button. So believe it or not, we're actually done in After Effects. So we're going to go to File. We're going to export, and then we're going to go to export, S excuse me, XFL. We're going to rasterize to a PNG sequence, which is going to produce a movie clip with a bunch of PNG images. So click OK. And it's going to save. It's going to ask what we want to save the XFL file as, and I'll save it as MM button, Maver Media button. Yes, please overwrite that. It's going to render it out. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to open up Flash. We're going to go to File, Open. Now we're going to open the XFL file we just created. <clears throat> and as you can see, it created a movie clip in Flash, which is actually really cool because just imagine the possibilities if you aren't familiar with XFL. Imagine the possibilities that you could have with uh, animations and as far as importing them into Flash. So we'll look at the library. What it did, it created a bunch of images, which are essentially frames, and then one movie clip. We're going to right click the timeline. We're going to click convert to frame by frame animation. What it did was it created a whole bunch of keyframes with the animation, each keyframe being a different image. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select the 24th clip and we're going to highlight all the ones before that. We're going to right click and we're going to click copy. Okay, we're going to go to file, new, new flash file. Okay, now we have a new flash file open. What we want to do is import, so file, import to stage the original image that we wanted to turn into the movie clip button. So I'll drag it out to the center of the stage. Very good. Okay. Now I'm going to right click it and we'll turn it into a movie clip. I'll call it electric button. Push OK. Now we'll just Double click it and get inside. Okay. Now we're going to create a new layer. And on the second frame, we're going to right click 
we're going to click paste frames Re and then it's going to give us this option we're going to click replace existing items as you can see it created an animation the animation we're going to use for the button okay perfect now because it pasted as you can see it pasted all these frames over here I don't know a way around it but I do know this position if you go to properties is based off the image so if we click this for example we click that go to properties we can see the coordinates are are as such now if we click them and click type in zero and zero it should set it right to where the very first original image goes so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for a few and then I'm just gonna copy and paste it Now you can finish, you can do this for all 24 frames. We actually don't need the 25th one. That oh, wasn't supposed to come. You can do it for all 24. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste it just to make life easier so that we uh, don't have to wait three hours for me to do this. Okay, so I'm going to highlight them. I'm just going to paste it till it gets up to... 24 perfect okay we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna call this one labels bring the properties panel over here so on the second frame in labels push F6 to create a new keyframe we're gonna call this one over okay now at about the 12th frame F6 again we're gonna call this one out okay that's it for labels create a new layer we're gonna call this one actions great okay for the first keyframe we're gonna open the actions panel we're gonna type in stop this essentially just stops the movie clip just in case we're gonna actually put it in the main timeline but just in case okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the last uh, right above the last frame and over we're gonna push F6 we're gonna go to the actions and here we're gonna type go to and play frame 2 I'll explain why we just did that okay what we want to happen is when the over when the over scene plays excuse me when the over frame plays it plays all the way to here and then when it gets to the last instead of going into the out it loops back and it goes to and plays the second frame which is right here so when you're hovered over it does this effect Awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the main timeline. Everything looks actually good. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to remove this frame. We're going to put for the last frame just the regular image. As you can see, I copied and pasted the regular image into the last frame so that it just, when you take the mouse off, it switches back the last frame to the regular image. Okay, now we're going to go out. And we're going to add some action script to the main scene. Okay, so create a new layer and call this one actions. Open up the actions panel. Now, what we're going to type is, as I said before, we're going to type stop here just to make sure it does not play the script, or excuse me, the uh, movie clip. But that's just in case because we already have it now we're going to type we're going to add an event listener so we are going to type actually you know what we're going to actually give this clip an instance name so our properties panel disappeared so i'm going to have to bring that back up 
Okay. Now, we're going to give it the instance name as, we'll just give it clip, just to make life easier. Because we are going to need this for the actions. Okay, so we're going to type in clip, add event, add event listener. Okay. I'm going to type in mouse event period and then roll over it should you should have some options here um, okay and then comma and then the name of the function we're gonna call the function btn over close parentheses and then a semicolon and we're gonna do this again for when it is hovered we're gonna add event listener for out mouse event dot mouse out perfect comma and we're gonna call this function btn out close parentheses semicolon enter okay now we can get started with the function function okay we're gonna call on over so bt oh excuse me why did that do that btn over okay open parentheses event we're just gonna be a mouse event Okay, we're going to start the function, we're going to open the function, and we're going to say, in the event that this, in the event that it is hovered over, go to and play the frames over. Easy enough. Semicolon, and then we're going to close the function. Okay, we're going to do this almost identical thing, but just for when it the button out, so when it is taken off, the mouse is taken off the button. BTN out event. It's going to be a mouse event. And we want you to Go to and play, obviously, out frame. And we're going to close that function. Oh, excuse me. Right there. Let's check it for errors. And it says it actually contains no errors. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and see how it looks. And there you have it. When you hover the mouse over top of the button, it creates a very cool electric effect. And uh, that's it. That's the end of the tutorial. So thank you for uh, listening to my tutorial and watching my tutorial. And uh, if you did like it, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. This is Brad Maver, and uh, I'll catch you next time.